the news. Uh, good evening. Officials uh, will meet uh, tomorrow to begin deciding uh, which foreign workers currently overseas will be allowed back into the country. Immigration Minister Miriam Telemak says they could now include specialist workers in the hospitality trade, such as chefs. Today's announcement of exemptions follows the Cabinet's decision last week to revoke gainful occupation permits for some 1,100 expatriate employees currently abroad. But workers in medical, agricultural and fisheries sectors will now be allowed back along with some staff in the hotel industry. A JOPI committee will be set up whereby they will reassess the needs of the post of the foreign worker who is out of the country. And they will be meeting uh, tomorrow afternoon. I would like to make an appeal to the Seychellois to this is your chance for you to get uh, permanent employment. Don't lose it, grasp it, and uh, ensure to the people that Seychellois are hardworking people and we can deliver. And the government says it has identified key national projects such as the Lago Dam, which must bring back the expat workers. They've been, there has been GOP applications for 365 construction workers, 270 in hospitality and nearly 100 in retailing. The, but there are positions they, where, where uh, they have applied in different sectors where we think, when we look at the profile of those people who are unemployed in Seychelles, can easily take. You see, we have so many people who have been made redundant at by entry. Yet, you see people are asking for waitresses. When we have STA students still unemployed. So, you see, we have to look at, at it and now the situation has changed. The SEED Capital Grant Scheme that assists uh, businesses not older than 36 months with a 50,000 rupee grant is expected to start assisting businesses once more. Interested applicants uh, whom their total turnover is not more than 2 million rupees yearly may apply for this grant online as of September. The Principal Secretary for Industry and Entrepreneurship Development, Angelique Conta, says that the scheme stopped assisting businesses in March due to the budget review associated with the pandemic. Around 300 businesses have benefited so far from the seed capital grant scheme since its launching in 2017. The ministry responsible for agriculture has uh, relaunched uh, the national campaign Every Home a Garden. The campaign was initially launched in 1996 but was not successful. After 24 years, the ministry is now stepping up its effort to ensure every home produces at least a portion of its daily intake. In order to achieve its goal, the ministry is also launching a second campaign Every School a Garden whereby schools around the country can have a vegetable nursery and sell them in their community. Officers from the ministry will offer people in the community advice as well as training. In fact, the other campaign which would engage schools is, without saying, a very important campaign in itself because it would take to these homes all the requisite inputs, meaning, and mostly, the seedlings which would be required, the plants, the food plants that would be required. And we're working with schools, mostly secondary schools, except probably in a few cases, because there is already a collaboration, an MOU, with, through Ministry of Education, to engage secondary schools in school garden projects. And we see these schools at, pla at solid platforms to generate seedlings that would be used in the Every Home Garden campaign. 
The Institute of Early Childhood Development, the ICD, has shared the results of the 2019 Early Learning Readiness Assessment of Children in Home-Based Channel Minding Services. This was during its second Early Childhood Care Education Forum. The findings are based on feedback from 144 parents, child minders, and 178 children. And the results have shown that a total of 60% of the children assessed are ready to go to crash. The study is expected to provide a baseline for the implementation of the early learning program by home-based childminders and will help to develop strategies to enhance practices. All workers in Caravel House in Victoria had to evacuate the building this morning following a false fire alarm. They assembled at a rallying point in the car park outside the building before returning to their duties a few minutes later. The MCA's managing director, Bernard Jackson, said the incident occurred at around 11.30 a.m. when a worker undertaking a maintenance work in the building accidentally pressed the fire alarm button. Caravel House uh, houses uh, many offices like the Mauritius Commercial Bank, the National Bureau of Statistics, the Pension Fund, and the Department of ICT. And with this, we've come to the end of this news summary. Thanks for watching.